Howdy y'all, it's Uncle Silas, and seeing this how the 4th of July is coming up, I figured I'd sing a song about the War of 1812, or as I like to call it, the American Revolution Part 2, The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Stop that right now, creepy. We can't afford the copyright. Now, the War of 1812 started when Napoleon decided to conquer all of Europe. The British didn't take too kindly to that, so they made war on France and set up a blockade so that way France couldn't trade with nobody. Now, the Americans didn't take too kindly to that because, you see, we wanted to trade with France. Last time we did that, we got Louisiana out of the deal, and that was pretty damn good. So America decided to ignore the British blockade and trade with France anyway, because if the American Revolution taught us nothing else, it's that we're real damn good at smuggling. It's the American way. Well, the British didn't take too kindly to that, so whenever they caught an American ship trying to run the blockade, they'd impress the sailors into the British Navy. Of course, the American sailors would tell the British, you can't do this, we're Americans, but the British would just turn around and say, no, you ain't, you're a bunch of rebellious colonists, you're in the Navy now. We're in the Navy! I told you to stop that, we can't afford the copyright. Well, America didn't take too kindly to all of that, and throughout the whole thing, America just kept thinking to themselves, wouldn't it be great if we could conquer Canada? At the same time, the British were thinking to themselves, wouldn't it be real great if we could retake the colonies? So in 1812, we decided to go to war. America invaded Canada, that didn't go too well. Britain invaded Virginia and Maryland, that didn't go too well. And after about two years of war, both sides decided that the whole thing was a wash. They signed an armistice and then met in Paris to sign a treaty. Unfortunately, the writing of that treaty wasn't going very well because neither side really won that war and deliberations just devolved into diatribes of nuh uh, we would have won, nuh uh, we would have won. Now, as all this was going on, the British Navy was on their way to New Orleans. The idea was to conquer New Orleans, control the Mississippi River, and thus cut off the interior of the country from the coastal regions. Unfortunately for them, they had not gotten the memo that the war was in fact over because a telephone had not been invented yet. Now, luckily for America, another man had not gotten the memo, and that was the man defending New Orleans, Colonel Andrew Jackson, later to become General Andrew Jackson, later to become President Andrew Jackson, by far the most insane psychopath that we have ever elected to that office, with Donald Trump coming in at a very close second. Just to give you an idea of how insane this man was, his nickname was Old Hickory. They called him that because he used to carry around an old hickory stick. He used it to beat the shit out of people he didn't like. But as I said, Jackson had not gotten the memo that the war was in fact over, and so he prepared to defend New Orleans with an army comprised of a handful of federal regulars, but mostly a bunch of rednecks from Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee, some freed slaves, some French Creoles, some Cherokee Choctaw and Creek engines, as well as a Jewish pirate with a bunch of cannons. And a partridge in a pear tree muzzle tub. What the hell is wrong with you people? What do you mean by Jew people? Not you people, you people. What do you mean by you people? I'm not having this conversation with you right now. What do you mean by people? What do you mean by you? What do you mean by me? What do I mean by me? What does mean even mean? How long are you gonna let me keep talking like this until somebody shouts me? Suffice it to say, Andrew Jackson won a decisive victory against the British at the Battle of New Orleans, and when word reached the diplomats in Paris, it gave them the clout to say, uh-uh, we would've won. Andrew Jackson, Battle of New Orleans, mic drop. Booyah! And so today I bring you an old folk song about the Battle of New Orleans. In 1814 we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down the line of Mississippi. Took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we fought the bloody British in the town of New Orleans. Fired our guns and the British kept to come in. Wasn't as many as it was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run in down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We look down the river and we see the British come And there must have been a hundred of them beating on the drum Stepped so high and they made the bugles ring And we sat down by the cotton bales and didn't do a thing Fired our guns and the British kept to come in Putting as many as it was by the go Fired once more and they began to run in Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico Oh, Hickory said we could take them by surprise If we didn't fire muskets and we looked them in the eyes Held our fire till we see the British well And we opened up our squirrel guns and really gave them Well, we fired our guns and the British kept to come in Putting as many as it was a while ago Fired once more and they began to run in Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico Oh, they ran through their bars and they ran through their rambles And they ran through the bushes where the rabbit 
rabbit would go. Ran so fast that the hounds couldn't catch him. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We fired our cannons till the barrel was down. So we grabbed an alligator and we caught another round. Filled his mouth with cannonballs and powder is behind. When we touched the powder off the gator, lost its mind. So we fired our guns till the British couldn't come in. Wouldn't as many as it was a to go. Fired once more and they began to run in. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe and look us up on Facebook and on the website where there's albums you can purchase in MP3 format. You can also support this channel on the Patreon page. There's people who've got their names on the screen when done donated to the Patreon, and now they've done gotten their names on the screen. And, uh, yeah, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Let's go blow something up!